Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We're joined now by Rob Lutz, CIO of Cabot Wealth Management and author of The Great Game of Business, which is a very real book, which is interesting because Rob's got some very real ideas about artificial intelligence and how to invest around it. Rob, before we get into the specific maybe beneficiaries, what is your bullish outlook based on for AI? Well, I think um, I always look for changes in the economy that are significant and that are going to have a really big impact to a lot of different sectors. So things like the development of the computer, the development of the Internet. Well, I think AI, artificial intelligence, is of equal magnitude to have a huge impact among many sectors. And it really comes about because of the speed of the uh, ability of computers to process information. Just in the last five years, we've really accelerated the ability to do that. So this has opened up tremendous amount of uh, opportunity for many different industries. And, you know, and the idea, you... and I, so let's get into some of the, the beneficiaries. I know that there's the Googles of the sure. world, the Amazons, the Facebooks. Yep. How, how much of the thesis, though, on those companies should be around AI, or is that just kind of a cherry on top of companies that are already, by many accounts, just killing it? So I think, first off, you know, we did some, uh, some work this summer. We had a, a, a person come into my office and educate my portfolio managers for the summer. It's actually an intern from Carnegie Mellon. And we were really trying to understand what companies are positioned to really capitalize on this trend. And, and also what industries are most likely to have a benefit from it. So, of course, the first thing you have to look at is what companies have data. So Google, Amazon, Facebook, all have lots of data. So it's very likely artificial intelligence is going to allow them to monetize and capitalize on a lot of that. But the second wave is what situations today are, are really being capitalized on. And you're probably aware of a 60 Minutes episode a while ago done on artificial intelligence where the IBM Watson uh, computer, the, the software program using artificial intelligence, went up against a bunch of doctors in diagnosing cancer. And what came out of that, it was a thousand cancer uh, cases. Uh, the doctors did their job just fine and the computer matched what the doctors were doing just fine. But in 30% of the cases, they came up with a new drug or a new treatment that was a superior case. So we're really seeing today the application that uh, using AI is going to come out with better medical results for a lot of medical situations. And that's just one example in the whole healthcare area. If you had to just sort of pick on one name, I know there's a few you like, Rob, is there one that really sticks out to you? Well, in, in the healthcare area, it's hard to pick someone exact, exactly. You know, I, IBM, of course, is, is a real real company. However, about 80 or 90 percent of their business today is mature and it's actually withering and, and slowing. So the new part of that, it's going to take them a while to really have that be meaningful. But I think companies like Salesforce.com, they have lots of data and they have the opportunity to really use AI is probably a very big beneficiary. As I mentioned, the Google and the Facebooks and mm -hmm. the Amazon are, are also a possibility. Another really interesting um, industry that's being changed today, and it's a debate whether it actually is AI or not, and that's autonomous driving. But that's coming about because of the same capability of the computers to actually process information in real time. So I'm, I am of the opinion that, uh, that this industry, the whole transportation industry, is about to be changed in a very significant way. Uh, five years from now, you probably reported it on your show or others, Ford Motor is planning to build 100,000 autonomous cars just five years from now. So they see the opportunity to really capitalize on this. And I think a, a lot of investors are questioning, how do I invest in it? It is a very challenging uh, uh, job today to find direct applications to it, but certainly a yeah. company like Tesla or Google is in that space. I would say streaming media, my own opinion too, because I know for me, if I'm in an autonomous car, I'm going to be able to watch a lot of CNBC or watch Netflix or whatever it is from my car because someone else is doing <laughs> the driving. The sad part is people are doing that now while driving. Rob Lutz, thank yes. you very much for joining us. Interesting stuff there on AI. We appreciate it. And folks, Great. we always appreciate you tuning into Trading Nation. We'll see you next time.
Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.